uh, day, well, say a couple of weeks, days, a couple of weeks ago, that um, uh, the thingy Mac, who was it? Thingy Mac, Harry Mac. Harry that video Mac, you sent. Yeah. I never yeah, heard of the Mac. guy before, but um, yeah, I was pretty. I was, that was something pretty special to watch. Yeah, dude, is he, he just released the uh, Mega Bars seventy two today? Oh my God, is he just so on point? Look With crazy, how you doing? Welcome in to the sick show. Crazy attack, hey! Yeah, Knox got uh, Bieber, Bieber. I'm not doing well myself. I'm doing good though. <laughs> you're not doing well, you're doing good. Excellent. Yeah. I'm doing good. Good. That's for the zombies. That must be. Yeah, uh, I've actually played a lot of Plants vs. Zombies back in the day. I haven't played any of the newer stuff, but yeah, I used to. Yeah, it was a pretty cool uh, tower defense kind of game. Uh, yeah, it's all changed a bit since then. It's more, I think it's more like first person shooter now, I think. It is. Well, that escalated quickly. Yeah. <laughs> must be a secret path around here somewhere. Really. Oh, there we go. I spied that chest before, so. Do they have a first person shooter? Oh, like first person shooter, kind of like uh, they must have copied. Uh, crap, I haven't played it forever. Oh, there's, there's tons of tower defense games. They'll never go away. That the original game. Call of Duty Zombies was based on tower defense, for crying out loud. Look how popular that got. Yeah, I've heard of it. Not. Uh, I don't I really I... understand, like, the whole point of this area, though. It's five o'clock on Friday. Celebrate the start of the weekend with your Alexa routine. Hope you have a good one. There you go. Thanks, Alexa. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. That was, uh, I was waiting for the, um, I have just ordered your shipment of <laughs> Miller and <Nope. laughs> it was celebrating the evening with you. Lex is on, on point. I thought I'd maybe missed something in this area, but I've been kind of explored. I don't think I've missed anything. This was all a bit of a wasted trip. Let's see if I can find this game. How do we get down there? Have we been down there? Probably. Yeah, did didn't you stream uh World of Goo? Stream what? World of Goo. World of Goo. Never heard of it, dude. Ah, uh, okay. I was either thinking you've never played it or you streamed it and I can't I couldn't remember which, so yeah, World of Goo. Uh I think I got it on the Wii. Or maybe okay. uh maybe no nah, i think i played no nah, i played no nah, yeah i played it on something else and then i got it for pc i got it on steam yeah, but yeah it's a great fun game it's kind of like those bridge builder things but completely different if that makes sense like yeah you're not you're not just trying to carry cars over a gap uh, you gotta do other things and work out physics. Like it's kind of, it's kind of like a puzzle. 
it's a, you know, a physics kind of puzzle thing. Okay. Uh, I, I think you might like it. Uh, of course, I have it on my library, so you can, you know, obviously you can play it uh, whenever you want. But, uh, yeah, I'd say that's a good one, but I, I'm still trying to find that tower defense game I was talking about because they had a sequel. Desperately like need a shot or something. Oh, I remember. That's where the spiders live. like the spiders tactics like they back you up they back you up they back you up until they've got nowhere else to go and then they charge at you quite cool um Still hold my ground though that we desperately like need to find a hook shot or something. Did you ever play a Steven Sausage Troll? Uh, I, I yeah, I've got it. Um freaking, freaking it. solid, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hard, but it's I know it's um it's based on that game, that, that other game that you sent me once. Um, yeah, the original. Game. Where you where you have the uh, rectangular three by one. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I forget what it's called, but yeah, it's still. It was an online flat. game, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a flash game back in the day. The mini clip. Uh, or the new grounds. Uh, I, th I think it was. I don't know where it started, but it ended up everywhere. It was so freaking popular. And I hope the dude that made it somehow made some money off of it. Because, I mean, it was everywhere. People played the absolute crap out of it. And it, it, it was just a completely new concept at the time. And Stephen Salsa's role flipped it on its head and uh, used the same concept, but all new rules um, and stuff. Uh, yeah, I haven't finished it. I kind of I stopped at a point to where I finished all the first level, like, I can't remember what you would call first level or not, but because you're allowed to, you know, have your choice of puzzle to go after. If you're having trouble, you can go to another one. Yeah, you kind of go. It's kind of different areas, isn't there as well? Yeah, and but you can't go but so far until you beat enough of the ones in the previous area and to unlock a new area, and then, which of course unlocks new mechanics. Uh, yeah, so. Much, much more difficult than, oh, that, it flashed in my brain. It starts maybe. with, I think, I think it starts with a Z. I've maybe even got it or, like, or saved X. on my bookmarks, to be fair. Or, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Um, crazy, totally. Block sores. Block sores, that's it. I, I yeah. knew it had an X, Z kind it's of on, thing. Um, it's on mini clip. At least, well, it looks like that's at least like the link I've got for it anyway. Not many yeah, it, it's absolutely an excellent game, especially as old as it is. It still holds up. I mean, it still looks perfectly good for what it is. 
the progression throughout is solid. You don't get like a level that's ten times harder than the last and the next one you pass without any trouble kind of thing so much. Well, at the end of the day, it's um, that's called a monopoly. That's kind of what EA like to do. That's their business model. That's their business model. And unfortunately, once uh, EA buy all these other companies up, they'd have little to no choice if they want to stay in business and still make games. So that's what EA say they got to do. Unfortunately, they got to jump through the hoop and do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's good to know, especially uh, uh, well, you mentioned Source, Unity, and Frostbite, but Un Unreal is the Unreal, Unity are the two big ones. Source is good, but yeah, I mean, not nearly as many games have been made with it. I don't think they they don't license out. Well, I guess they. they I don't. What games have they licensed their engine out to? You? It's third Ooh. party. Talking about that much. Well. Who? And hey, who are you talking about, Deathwish? No. Uh, uh, Source. Like the source engine. Oh, the source engine. Uh, I, I mean, other than like Portal Stories Mail, and which, um, which, which actually sold. Black Mesa. But I mean, do what? Black Mesa. Possibly. Okay. That was source. That was main source what? two, though, wasn't it? I think. Uh, I, I think they. Midway changed it to Source 2. Possibly. No, I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, the, but I mean, but it's still like uh, Valve content. Black Mesa is like Half Life. Yeah. Well, I mean, has there been a game that uh, has used the Source engine that is unrelated to Valve and it's not fan made or any of that? Where they've used it, like uh, Unreal Tournament, uh, Unreal Engine, or Unity. Uh, I don't think so. Nothing comes to mind, anyway. Yeah, because I can't think of any. I don't know why. Uh, I guess maybe because like Unreal. And I guess I, I assume Unreal is still the top dog, even though there's a lot of people that use Unity now. To be fair, though, outside of I mean, I, I don't know, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't know, like, game engines in depth at all, but the only ones that you really, or, or like, I really hear of, like, constant development are Unity and Unreal. I think Unreal yeah. is on, like, version 5 of the engine now, I think, isn't it? Yeah, Unreal 5 is absolutely incredible. And of course, you take, um, a, you take advantage of it. Unity is always being updated because it's such a popular and easy to use kind of development tool toolkit. Yeah, it's it's yeah, exactly, and a lot of uh, mobile games are made with it. Well, not just mobile, to... mobile games, but they've they've also got the tools in there to do like you can port them over to console as well. So it's very appealing for small yeah, time P PC, console, mobile. Uh, yeah, exactly. I've got the full toolkit there. I mean, it's not a bad it's, it's not a bad engine to use if I'm honest. No, um, uh, you got to be creative with it. Yeah. Uh, more mean, so it's... than like un the Unreal Editor, uh, Unreal Engine rather. Uh, yeah, it's. It, I mean, that's what I use. That's the first one I use, which that's what sources, you know, like Hammer reminds me of the same screen layout similar tools but yeah uh when you go to make maps it's completely different uh well not completely different but 
because uh, you're you're making different stuff than with yeah like that that specifically made for their Half Life Portal World. Hey, finally I got here. It's a thing. Yeah, I think frostbite. Uh, I'm I'm not. I know, I, you know, I know, I've known a Frostbite for a long time, playing games that where it shows up and has the Frostbite logo with the icy look to it and all that. Yeah. I don't think they're as user-friendly. I could be wrong. But, because you, you seem to only see uh, EA or whoever uh and whoever they want it's making a game use it but yeah it's it's for them it, it, it doesn't go elsewhere it, it, as far as i know of but i am no expert yeah i mean again i i, I don't i don't i'm like you i don't have a lot of experience in this sort of thing but from my experience um I believe like Unreal as, as, as like powerful and fantastic as an engine it is, it's also the most intensive, I believe. Yeah. Um, uh, because uh, I can always that's tell how like, we use Unity. It's not as hard on system requirements. I know um whenever I used to play a, a, a Unreal Engine game on my PlayStation, it was like the fans are kicking into overdrive because it's like that demanding. It used to be crazy. Oh, without a doubt. Uh, but they've they've definitely got it more optimized now. Uh, the, engine, the engine itself, but I mean, it would say it depends on it depends on the game maker and how much they use of yeah. the power. So you can make a decent, a, a good looking game, and everything else, and it not be that hard on an, you know an average system. But yeah, if you really dig into putting like the shadows texture you gotta you know all the all the eye candy stuff in it's big time you, you get back to like uh, really you know where your computer ran crisis again <laughs> the apex use source really <laughs> didn't know that hey we got another page of the manual deathwish right. um, i'm seeing it Hey, look, bowling. It was. Uh, oh, okay. So the coins. Okay, so the coins that like we we tried to use them before, and we just sort of like flip them. But I guess you got to put them in the well. Yeah, what does that do? Like a wishing well. Yeah, I never put that together, but that's yeah, about all we got. I was just kind of wondering, like, okay, you can flip the coin, so what? what yeah. I wonder if, like, it's rela in relation, it's something to do with the, the the image next to it, where he's kind of like life, sword, shield kind of thing, possibly. Um, I don't want to do that. Also, we've got a load of these things. We've already picked a load of these things up, these cards, but pretty sure what to make of them seems like they have different stats so possibly the lucky cup gives you 15 percent more health temporarily the inverted ash possibly buffs your mp and hp and the peril ring ups your defense and peril that doesn't sound good to be honest Hints and clues. Who is the gold know. one? Don't know. We need to look at page 49 for that. So the temple and three keys. Well, I think that's that. I think we've unlocked two of them. I think they're the um, the ding-dong pillar things that look like the big tuning forks, which we found two of them. Um...
Interesting looker here though. Look at these these this here. It's almost like they're trying to translate it. Yeah. That and that. That but the thoughts the thoughts of the fox above their symbols match. The first row without the exclamation point. Second row, plus, and then down to basics. So the is slash. it almost the case here that this is like. Looking at those, like the end two, obviously that looks a bit like a T. Um, and then it's almost like you, you take away parts. Are they taking away like these two characters off here to leave the O? Yeah, well, the main thing I'm noticing is that at the, uh, the, the arrow on the right, it points to the carrot and the apostrophe or whatever you call the backwards apostrophe uh yeah. that that's added above that where the arrow is pointed to the circle and then the, when he's thinking up top everything else is a match and the and the carrot at the bottom uh, you know the upper thing gets added to the y looking part to make the final product, which you can see in the thoughts, but the exclamation point I assume is simply that because over to the left is question mark. So apparently, yeah, uh, punctuation is standard. Uh, it's just the characters that are different and how they Hold get on. added. But yeah. Okay. Hold on. Now. There's something interesting here I've just noticed about all of these letters. And they've all got they've all got a line through the center. Yeah. Now what if there's like some weird mirror thing going on here? Uh, I thought about that mm. earlier, but I, it, that didn't make any sense to me. Like, not, nothing is mirroring anything. Unless I'm missing. Yeah, no, no. Go back to the gold letters. Yeah, see, the gold letters have, there's more mirroring, uh, mirroring in them. Yeah. Uh, if you, know, you see what I'm saying? Like, some parts don't mirror, but a good chunk of stuff does. But, yeah, I mean, what that means, I have no clue. I feel like it's something you maybe find out later. And why are, and why are those in gold? Well, I guess that's because it's talking about these gold pads, right? But that's the only thing I could. But yeah, like, why is that the only section that of text that's gold, and the rest isn't? So if you find something else. And it turns gold, does it change? Does it... Yeah. I think we're away off that, I think, anyway, for now. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... Just... Guessing. Yeah, I see your health bar. Got another notch up. Oh, um, yes. So you upgraded your health. That's always a good thing. We climbed this snowy, mountainous path. It was all in vain, just for a 
These are the instructions that ask, that leaves us with more questions than answers. Can't we just uh, parachute off the side of this thing and float down? That'd be easier, wouldn't it? All right, so I'm, I'm pretty convinced. Whatever it is now we need to do, we need to go to that beach area where we started off last night because it's the only real area we can go to now, I believe. I don't know. This seems like a pretty real area. Yeah, but we, there's, there's like nothing in between. A wall and yeah. All right. So let's um, try and remember how we get to the beach. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Need some. I think we need to go down transport. here. Yeah, if only fast travel was a thing, right? That would make it too easy. The thing is, I think once we find certain bits and pieces, though, I think that will definitely speed up the way we travel. I'm 99% convinced we're going to get a hook shot at some point. So I think that'll save us a lot of kind of going to and from areas. Ah, uh, there we go. Go down. Yeah, I get I get the feeling once we've done all three colors, then we need to come here. Because this to me seems like the um, that thing at the top, the temple. So I think we got two colors. We just need to make the third. one of those wells as well. Oh. Yeah, I gotta do the well trick. See if the coins actually do something magical. Right. Okay, magical. Boom, boom, boom. Long range attack. I tried that out. I've forgotten about that. Forget about things. I was waiting for it to attack and then I was going to go in, but clearly it's um, one hit kill, so there was no need for that at all. Alright. So. I have one coin. Oh. Uh, 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 Achievement unlocked, nothing happened. Fantastic. Oh, but it tells me a count, so I guess it tells me how many we've thrown into the well, then. Yeah. Do you throw them all in, or what? I've only got one. Well, I guess you throw them all in, then. <laughs> yeah, make a, I, th I think... Uh, I think uh, the... Each, the symbols with the line in the middle above and below oh. are, are separate words. And then. Oh, 
hold on. Hold on. We're holding. I think they're like... Okay, so these are... I think these card things are like additional stats. And you can equip one of them. That's interesting. So if I do... If I add on the inverted ash... I got inverted ash? Is that one? Um... Yeah. Hmm. I'm hoping that my stats would increase or something, but... I guess at some point it'll you'll it'll say when there's some form of fashion. Tell us what it does. What sort of crazy speak is that? I know, really. One more hit, done. Boom. Nice dodge and parry. Oh. Is the pathway lighting up? Okay, look at that. Look at my um, health bottles. Yeah? Uh, four. So, health bottles, yeah? Red. I equip that, they go blue. What is it? Okay, what does that mean? So I wonder if I will get a 15% boost on this and MP and HP or a boost on MP and HP when I drink one of my potions possibly. It gives me, it recovers more of my MP and HP uh, I would say. That sounds that sounds uh, very plausible. Then this So that's like a, it says plus 15%. Yeah, okay, I think that's giving me 15% more health, possibly. Hard to tell. Help hmm. bar. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, I need to remember how to get down here. Just run past that guy. Did blow to that. It done did indeed. <laughs> you done blow to did up. All right, so this is one of the the birds. Look, theory number one. Yeah, what's up with the bird? It doesn't attack you. It runs away. Take it away from me. I'm flying on water. That's all I can do. I'm healing and go through the screen transition, eh? Wow. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, what, what just happened? <laughs> okay, you hippie bird. That's just a weird penguin. Can't really fly. Can run really quickly. So you can kill it, but that doesn't do anything other than kill yeah. it, right? Uh, so yeah, I, I've always killed them when I've like come in here before. But they, yeah, there's no reason to. But and then obviously, we when we look at the map, 
this area. The only reason to kill him is if you want to be more American like. Yeah, it's like that thing in the bottom corner. I, I, I still feel like that has some relevance to what we need to do with them. The music symbol. Music symbol. Music symbols. Uh, that's, uh, see, uh, you did the east and west bells. I think there is a north and south. Possibly, yeah. Possibly that's the the notes that the um, they're playing. Rough. But the what I noticed before is the symbols are also feature on like one of the numbers. If you take a look at the symbol on the left side of that little thing in the bottom corner, it relates to the first symbol in number, sorry, the second symbol in number three. And each one of those directions relates to one of the numbers, or one of the symbols at one of the numbers, at least. Is it just me, right? Or this, looking at this one, if you was to turn those symbols 90 degrees right, you would almost have like a K and an R on the right hand side. Yeah, I mean, if you just kind of picture it or tilt your head sideways, whatever you need to do. And yeah, you know, a K and R, but the one above it mm. would, that would be S, M, and R. S, M, A, R. ASMR, uh, <laughs> even. I can't. I can't. S S M C R. Uh, I mean, that's just more like a lightning strike. If you rotate it. Can we apply that to any of the other pages? Yeah, I think. Really? I think we're reading too much. Ugh. Sign the flag. Big time. I don't know how to, like, get... Where else from here? You only attack the birds. Yeah, I tried using well, I tried using the musical ability. Um Yeah. Do a little swirl thing, yeah, but but the only thing you can actually do is just kill him. Yes so. I just wondered yeah. if, like, they would come nearer to me when this was going on, but the problem is, like, you can't move. The minute you move, it stops, then you have to kind of do it all over again. Just, like, constantly in a panic, aren't they? They just think it, within a certain range, they bug yeah. out. Ability. Oh, yeah, the jumping ability. That one that we've not used the whole thing. Yeah, no. Stupid idiot. <laughs> Using all the ramps and easy stuff when you can just jump. <laughs> 